Top Quad Episode 3 will be out shortly. It features the drag race, hill climb, and my favorite, the creek run. Make sure to check out Episodes 1 and 2 if you haven't already. The Tri-Z project will resume shortly as well. We're just waiting on parts, but it won't be long. All right, let's get back to this video. If you guys ever wanted to ride a completely built YFC 450R with almost everything on it, aftermarket, well, I know I have, but not everybody has access to one, but I'm here with Robert Hermosi. Robert is the owner of Hermosi Throttles. Now, Robert, your brand, do you, what do you brand that as? Is, I, I've, I always know it as Hermosi Throttles. Yeah, that's how I started out. So I didn't know I'm gonna take it that far, you know, at, at the beginning, of course. So right now I'm just going with Hermosi. Okay, so that's, that's, that's pretty much keep it simple. All right, all right, so it's Hermosi. <laughs> And we've got this beautiful quad here. So Robert, tell us a little bit about this machine. I can tell a lot about it, but not a little bit about it because there is a, a lot of modification done to it. <laughs> Pretty much. We want to know. We want to know. There's, I think I know there's a there's a ton of stuff. So uh, only thing is stock is the frame. So I don't know which part. For me, the suspension is the one which is a unique feature. When you have it, it just makes your life much easier on the track. And just as important to having the wash on board, like this wash equipment, especially the front, which is. I can even describe to you, is that crazy? Yeah, you were saying this is all custom built up here? Yes, I'm not, not a pro on that, but uh, I guess it turns better. <laughs> Something what he, he recommended to have. Uh, I told him how, how kind I ride, and then he recommended to have that, because I, I really do like turning a lot. You know, like, I, I don't really do trail riding with it, just using it on my track, like the constant turn. First things first though, what, what year is this? This is a... This is a, it started out, it's a 2017 or 18? 17. So it's a, it's a 2017 YFC 450R, correct? Yes, and it okay. has, since then, it has 14 hours. 14 it. hours. And uh, rebuilt three, three times. Three, bu <laughs> three rebuilds. <laughs> so because <laughs> it's just, couldn't take it. Robert told me this thing has had some pretty vile rebuilds on it. When you started out, you said it was Incredibly powerful, right? Like first, too much. First, I took the engine to uh, a very well-known engine builder to bring like 55 plus horsepower. That's what we sell all down. He did that, but I guess I didn't mention the reliability. So we didn't shoot for reliability. It's just to have that power. So soon after that, it broke down. <laughs> and most of you guys that follow know this, but with the, the more performance you go for and the most you try to squeeze out, the reliability, it's like opposite. As the performance goes up, the reliability goes down. And even like these pro race riders and stuff, they've literally, they've got spare engines in the pits I because mean, they, Ray, they just blow up when you push them that hard and you have that kind of power Ray, to have a small engine. They saying uh, he pretty much go through the engine after every race for those pro racers. So for me not to, not to checking and go for, I don't know, five, 10 hours and I guess that was already too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those, yeah, they're probably, you know, they're checking maintenance like in the middle of a race. Yeah, so, so first, it just, uh, just a cylinder issue. Then second was pretty much everything went south, whatever it can, it just broke inside. <laughs> so so I, I give it to Ray to go over on everything and rebuild it for me. Only all parts in there is the gears, you know, like, but everything else is new. So we have a fresh build again. And he promised me it's gonna last for a year. Oh, it's, but it's, it's a promise. Toned down. So it's a promise. It's, it's a promise. And it's not that strong. So the reason why I believe him because we tone it down. Yeah. So it did, it's not that powerful and it was before. It's still enjoyable. But yeah, so it's not that powerful. And uh, we have the the RP throttle body. We have. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> The most unique feature about this is the cylinder head. I was told if I sell the quad, cap the cylinder head, make sure don't give it away because it's so specially built by these guys, so. Would he want it back or would he let you no, keep it? No, he just want me to keep it because it's unique. The way he, he machined yeah. it and all that, I can just put it on another quad and have the same experience pretty much like That's what awesome. I have on this one. Very cool. And now Robert, you said there was some special stuff under the seat, correct? Yeah, the the RP throttle body intake, and pretty much there is no wire harness over here, so everything done my way. So all custom every uh, battery box. This battery is my favorite one. Super light, extremely powerful. All the wire harness and everything has changed. Yeah, it's gone. There is nothing over here. And in the, on the stock, stock quad, there is a bunch of crap over here. And I removed all of that 
for the center of gravity. So everything is done below. I was so crazy about I cut a bunch of it out of the plastic just to saving weights. <laughs> it's gonna yeah, go like the, 0.5 the, ounces. the foam, you know, on the oh, seats. You just, did you cut the feet this is the, oh, yeah, the seats yeah. lower? Everything. This is alone saved me at like half a pound or something. Yeah, it's like pretty dense uh, yeah, foam. Yeah, you know, power and weight ratio. I noticed these little tabs. Oh. Are these like quick release tabs to get the plastics off? No, I, I did that because uh, you give me a short notice and this is my way of fixing the plastic when it's broke. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got you. <laughs> this is, I thought that yeah. was like, no. so you could take the plastic. I, I, I was just trying to be creative and, and make the plastic stay in place. I Otherwise it would be fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we just we just won't put that in the video. <laughs> no, you can. I don't. I, they're absolutely do yeah. that. It's a ridden quad. That's a, that's. I, yeah, I like that I mean, about it. It's been know. beat up. Yeah, I mean, fourteen hours. <laughs> yeah, it looks awesome though, man. Yeah, yeah, and it rides good. This bumper, I cut the front out. There was a bunch of other metals over here. I cut that out. I cut this one back. I saved a lot of weights on this one alone. I also made a custom catch tank. So that there's nothing, literally. That's where is my catch tank at currently. That's the wire harness. I don't know, I mean, you're not gonna see much about it, but pretty much that's it. That's my ECU over here. And uh, that's pretty much take care of the whole thing. Did you make all this stuff? Yeah, everything. I, I just, uh, what I did, I repurposed parts. This was, I don't know, for Yamaha something and I just made it work to holding my ECU. Uh, yeah, but pretty much, yeah, repurchased, uh, I mean, repurposed most of these parts. It's funny, Robert was saying when I walked up, <laughs> he was watching, you know, what, what I was looking at first, and he said, he said, most people come in and they look at the dirt bikes, which the dirt bikes are beautiful too, but he said my eyes went to the quad first. Right, Because right. It, it really is a super awesome quad. I'm sure you guys watching, you know, I wish that all you guys could actually be here and walk around because it's super detailed. Almost the entire thing is, is aftermarket. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, pretty much. Yeah. Robert's telling me that it runs just as crazy as it looks. So uh, I think we're going to take it out and, and see what it can do. Let's hit it. All right, guys, we're about to do a lap on this YFZ450R. Robert's on his YZ250X. Dude is super fast on that. I don't know if we'll be keeping up with him. It's uh, this machine really is. Once you take it for a couple laps and get used to it, it runs really, really good. It's very stable. I'm going to show you guys. So Robert's going to go out in the lead. It's very, very snappy, very clean, and it likes to be revved. It took me a little while to get used to it. fun machine it is super aggressive but not so aggressive that you can't handle it 
and it just handles so nice. Man, and once you get an idea of how it tracks, you know, I don't really ride in the sand too much, so it's a little different for me, but I'm getting used to it. And once you get it down, man, it just handles so well. A pleasure to ride this thing Whew, I'm gassed out though just from two laps on that man what an awesome awesome machine of a bitch. <laughs> We rambled quite a bit in the beginning of this video, but here's some more accurate specs of the quad. It's a 2017 Yamaha YFZ 450R. As far as the body goes, pretty much everything was done by Custom Walsh. A lot of this stuff was done specifically for Robert based on his needs. Most of the specs on this machine you can't just buy off the shelf. The front end is Custom Walsh. It has a Walsh steering system, Custom Walsh swing arm and linkage, Rath Nerf bars, Rath rear grab bar, Fox Float Evol 3 front shocks, Fox RC2 rear shocks. The front hubs have tapered bearings, which have less drag. For the control setup, it's got the Hermosi 720 SBC bar clamps, Pro Taper SX fat bars, Majura hydraulic clutch, Brembo brakes, ODI grips, Hermosi factory thumb throttle, and a Motion Pro kill switch. The wheels front and rear are DWT bead locks. It's got CST rear tires and T-Force front tires. Front bumper is made by GYTR. 
Seat cover is made by Four Works. All the wires and electrical components have been moved to the middle to centralize the mass. The seating position has been lowered two inches and the foot peg position has been lowered an inch as well to lower the center of gravity. As far as the engine goes, it has an RP full exhaust, RP airbox and throttle body, ported and machined cylinder head, high compression piston, and it makes about 55 horsepower. The clutch is a recluse torque drive. That's a regularly operated recluse clutch that can handle a lot of power. The ECU is a Vortex with a custom tune and it has a Shurai lithium ion battery. As far as fuel, it runs on VPC12. Big shout out to Robert for letting me ride this incredibly unique machine and thank you to you guys for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Don't forget to check out Ermosi.com for 720 SBC bar clamps, custom thumb throttles, wheels, and more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Oh, you meant to do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that last one was really good. I actually hooked up to you. <laughs> Dude, that sounds so good.